Hello everyone, I would like to show you how to set up a Zeiss microscope according to Köhler. This video shows the Zeiss Axiolab A5, but all the other Zeiss microscopes have the same functional elements. At first I would like to show you the basic elements of the microscope. Here you can see the camera that is connected to the computer, the camera adapter and the trinocular tube with the eyepieces. The turret with the objectives and the mechanical stage with its specimen holder and its coaxial knurled knob for adjusting the stage. The condenser with aperture diaphragm and the field diaphragm. Here you can see the knob for light intensity and the focusing drive for fine and coarse adjustments on both sides of the microscope and the main switch. All size microscopes carry the appropriate tools to set them up correctly. Now I would like to show you how to set up the size microscope according to Köhler. At first, swivel in the correct objective and make sure that the label of the objective fits to the condenser disc. Next, check the light intensity and put a sample onto the stage. Then, turn the knurled knob of the condenser to the top stop. Now focus on the sample by using the focus drive. Next, close the field diaphragm enough to make it visible in the field of view. Then lower the condenser until the edges of the field diaphragm appear sharp. Use the two screws and plug them in on both front sides of the condenser. Now center the field diaphragm image with these two centering screws on the condenser carrier. Open the field diaphragm enough to make the edge of the diaphragm disappear from the field of view. When you are working with the eFlow system, this is how the picture looks like when the condenser is at its top stop, the sample is well focused and the field diaphragm is closed. Again, you have to center the condenser and then open the field diaphragm and adjust the light intensity. To adjust the aperture, set the condenser to bright field and take an eyepiece from the tube barrel and look through the barrel. Open the aperture to a size of approximately 70 to 80 percent of the area of view. Now switch the condenser back to the appropriate face. In the next step, the microscope needs to be set up for the face contrast. The face contrast is required for the imaging of low contrast structures like sperm cells. It has to be adjusted for every objective separately. Swivel the face contrast objective into the beam path and turn the condenser's revolver disc to the same label. Remove an eyepiece from the tube and replace it with an auxiliary microscope. Use the adjusting fixture on the auxiliary microscope to focus the annular diaphragm and the face ring. Use the two screws and plug them in on both back sides of the condenser. Now you have to achieve a full overlap between the lighter annular diaphragm in the condenser and the darker face ring of the objective. When done, repeat this procedure with all the other face contrast objectives and then replace the auxiliary microscope with the regular eyepiece. These adjustments are required whenever a new microscope is set up. Additionally, it is sometimes necessary to readjust the microscope settings, for example when the microscope has not been used in a long time or when it has been placed somewhere else. Please be aware that these adjustments are crucial for a proper semen analysis. This is how a picture looks like whenever the condenser is not correctly centered. The light in the picture is not distributed evenly. This is how the sperm cells look like if the face contrast is not adjusted properly. The cells don't look as bright as normally and everything appears grayish. Please readjust the face contrast correctly. This is how an optimal microscopic picture should look like. All semen cells appear fully white on a black background and the light is distributed evenly on the picture. What to do when no picture is visible? Please check if the condenser is at the right position 
This is normally at the top stop. Check if the switch between camera and eyepieces is at the right position and check if the right objective is swiveled in correctly. The label of the objective has to fit to the label of the condenser disc. What to do when the microscope had been adjusted properly but the picture still appears greyish and unfocused? Please clean the objective lens as well as the condenser lens. Especially extended residues can affect the picture. Please clean first with a microscope tissue and hot water to dissolve the sugar contained in the extender and next with a microscope tissue with alcohol for a clear picture. To change the lamp in the microscope, switch it off and unplug the power cord. Open the cover and remove the lamp by pressing the two metal clips inwards. Now pull the old lamp out of the lamp base and carefully insert a new lamp with its two base pins into the lamp base. Now wipe the surface of the lamp if there are any marks on it. Reinsert the connected lamp by pushing the metal clips inwards against the lamp. Close the cover and plug the power cord back in.